to me, this is where the ancestors come alive. Yeah, this is the place where you meet your ancestors. You can look into the eyes and the faces of the diverse species that mm -hmm. are part of our family tree. It's impossible not to see yourself in the remarkably lifelike sculptures created by paleo artist John Gurchy. It took him three and a half years to make these eight busts, one sculpture, and six bronzes of early humans. It was a kind of total immersion in um, paleoanthropology and anatomy, the, especially the building the whole bodies. Um, I did that bone by bone and muscle by muscle, so that was really total immersion in anatomy, and I loved it. How confident are you that indeed these are pretty accurate? That's a painful question to answer. <laughs> uh, because I really would like to be able to say that this is a face that the, this individual's mother would recognize. I hope I'm close. I hope <laughs> I'm very close. I think the shape of the face, in most cases, is very close. There, there are some question marks, but if I was an archaeologist from another planet and landed on Earth, uh, let's say, two million years from now and humans were extinct, if I was trying to reconstruct the appearance of humans, would I get eyebrows? Probably not. Would I get um, color-highlighted lips? I don't think so. So I'm just telling you that to give an example of some of the things I might be missing. Those I hate to admit it. Trained as a paleontologist and anthropologist, Gurchy also is a self-taught artist. His studio is filled with cast replicas of the bones and skulls of every known human ancestor. Each sculpture is actually based on those fossil bones.